Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon, but I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good.
Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Mill. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. We're up. Oh! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on! <laughs> Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith! Help! Help me!
You ain't feeling good, have you? Something? You want it? Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. God damn it. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner? Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh-huh. Get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my lord, what'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on, we gotta go. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. John. Hey, now, get this wagon under control. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Oh, oh. Uncle! I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure, if you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and 
You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? You seem to be listening. Will you watch I've been it? Here for five years or more now, and the world is getting worse. Listen to me. This is not a joke. Read this. Excuse me. Hello? Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. Was uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangefall, and I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh, I mean, is Arthur, uh, he passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well, 
My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. And it's, uh... What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, right up for you. But if you think you can come back John here. John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm late, but can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston.
to happiness. One book to What's truth. wrong with you? One book to the future. My Hi there. About Money. The path to Only a trim or joy. something fancy. Like. Money. Be rich. Sir, madam, make something of yourselves. I love you and want to make That looks happy. better. Please, tell your friends. All right, you know where I am. How's it treating you? Come on, fella. Certainly am glad you feel so good about it. Oh, 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 oh what the hell? How did that happen? Oh, is someone dead? Oh, oh, I want to be peace I'm in my mouth. Oh, I want to be sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think anyone was standing there. Yo, Ron. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Easy now.
Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. Easy. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country roof doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, wait for me. Let's ride together. All right? Now, I was saying, uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. This it's is far him. too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that one. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. 
it on good authority, we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. An encyclopedia salesman was up there, on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie, hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans? Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get it. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. <laughs> You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. <sighs> That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. up here. Oh. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Oh. 
I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. There, boy. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead, but not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. 
I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, dogs, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. Come on! They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said... Get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut oh. mouth! Might just be. Son of a bitch. Where were we? Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Come on! It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The Velobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mr. Gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will, because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just... Looks like. Hold. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go... I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner.
that was your holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A little house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. We're good. Okay. John, look, we should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him... Did you hear something? You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. You're all right, boy. Stay. To the trees. Come on. Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Look out? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move.
They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Hold it. That's it. Patrol's taken care of. And we're looking for something. Us, most likely. Come on. Let's find where they're holding him. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on him. Gonna take us to them. Damn it. We have to find him ourselves. On me. I think I see something. That must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. Hey, I can't see much through this mist. Oh. Can you look too? Hold on. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Oh. Behind you! All right, gents! The surprise is over! We're here for you! Oh. Just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Got him? Because here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gully. Top of me. They're 
Taking you home. I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I don't feel good. Hold. I'm feeling <sighs> real weird. <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. <sighs> well, all right. Let's get you done. Let me see. I got you. I got you. <sighs> Come Let's on. get him out. Oh, Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought. I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back.
You... You're... I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough to this is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. 
Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. This ain't like him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Are you sucking? Don't swallow it. We'll spit it out. Dad, Rufus, no! He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just got to get him somewhere warm and calm. He's going to die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it going to be OK? Jack, the dog is going to be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Hello, boy. Me again. It's no 
nothing, boy. Hungry fella. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie, <laughs> you're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm sorry. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, <well>, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Say your goodbyes, John. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place, finally. Abigail's back with the boy. He must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or, it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well... I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need to post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. 
this moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman? Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Whoa. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This, this looks... Looks like a bear. Something came through here. <sighs> and fell a little... Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? Both of them. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one? Is he gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. Ha, ha. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah, just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. The family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. 
I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, but Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, man? Bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we shoot! Ah, you don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Whoa! Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. God damn it! I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here, put them down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Get settled, boy. 